Alright guys, and I'm back. Um, er, welcome to set 14 of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. <laughs> um, I'm already outside Ispin's castle. Um, as you may notice, my party is a little bit different than when I left off. Uh, that's because while training, Garnet had mastered everything that she can possibly learn at this, learn at this point in time. <laughs> uh, she has one more ability to learn, and she's done. All I have to do is level her to level 99, and she's fine. Zidane, on the other hand, he starts to learn this, which is Long Reach, and I believe one other ability. <laughs> well, two other, Auto Haste and whatever the hell this is. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I did do the screen, the scene with Quina and Vivi off screen. I do have an auto uh, file saved before that, though, and I will head back there later and uh, record it as a bonus video or something. <laughs> it's nothing important. But, after the scene is over, examine the clock in Quan's dwelling and you will get a pair of running shoes which give you auto haste. Which is what... no one has equipped right now. Alright. <laughs> also, while I was off screen, I decided to, um, get some more garnets. Yeah. So basically my Bahama is a mean motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, let's go into the castle. <clears throat> Let me uh, save here first. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Now we're going to find a lot of the starting level equipment here. That's for, um, I guess storyline reasons? I'm not sure entirely. <laughs> Big castle. FYI, we are now past where um, I messed up, so... <laughs> All this is from memory and the guide. <laughs> um, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter, so you can just let him go if you want to. <laughs> He'll go off on his own anyway. Unfortunately, you, um... Well, you're gonna keep Amaranth this way anyway. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, you can't beat Amaranth to the prize. He will always win. <laughs> oh, I get it now. Alright, um, <clears throat> the uh, Isman's Castle is a unique place. It has a special effect where your stronger weapons are actually weaker, and your weaker weapons are actually stronger. So while in here, Dagger actually does more damage. It's the reason why you'll find all the other characters' low-level weapons in here. Unfortunately, I sold all the base weapons. <laughs> um, I... He, she's learning initiative here, so I'm gonna switch back to Trident for now. Fork. <laughs> so this should actually be make us stronger. I've never heard this. I've always gone through here by myself, so or with my um, current equipment, so I don't know what's gonna happen. This is Kum uh, Kumul. We have a letter for him.
Alright, and we get access to this shop, which has all of our low-level equipment. Alright, so let's equip these guys with our weaker weapons. Which goes completely against my um, nature, by the way. I have really uncomfortable doing that. Oop. Let's see. I did accidentally get rid of something that I will need. Um, <clears throat> I'm looking for an air racket, which you can actually find in a chest somewhere in here. Oh yeah, before I forget, um, today I just finished, did the finishing touches of a, um, <coughs> webpage for Me Memento Mori. Um, I have a link of it in my, on my main channel underneath the Facebook, so if you're interested, go check it out. <laughs> it's gonna have all the, uh, detailed information about, um, all the work going on in, uh, Memento Mori. There's also a very specific enemy in here we want to find. It's called a Veteran. It has the uh, Doom ability for us. <laughs> and I have no clue what it looks like. I know that's Cerberus. <laughs> right, let's see if this physical attacks do stronger. Interesting. Okay, so we have about roughly a thousand damage. A uh, thousand damage on Zidane. I'm gonna switch his weapon over to his stronger weapon, see if that does anything. Oh, yeah, she has boost equipped, by the way, so this is, um, always going to be like this. Nice. <laughs> so, like I said, I'll switch over to uh, Zidane, see how well his damage does. <laughs> and if it actually does do less damage, I'll keep everyone's damage or weapons switched to that. But yeah, I never heard that the damage percentage has changed when you're inside here. <laughs> it's an interesting idea, but. <laughs> All right. And once I get done with um, getting Doom, I probably won't use Queena at all anymore, unless I'm leveling her up. I have no clue where I'm going, by the way. Broadsword. I'm kind of just uh, winging it right now. <laughs> there is one thing we really, really want here. It's called Ancient Aroma. Um, I'll explain it later once we get it. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? Another one's in one. This is a gargoyle, by the way. You want to stone it, or soft it. <laughs> or else it'll become a uh, major pain in your ass. 
Yeah, dagger does more damage. I'll have to fix that. That's right, Wind. Ask you this fucker. But yeah, I have no clue what veteran looks like. I can't recall it at all. So it's gonna be a pretty much a guess when I see it. I think I know what it looks like. Qualifier think. But anyway, um, I sold all my older weapons. Um, I was uh, kept the ones that were going to be used in the future, with the exception of once because I accidentally sold it. <laughs> I didn't realize it until a little bit later. Uh, the weapon I got rid of, by the way, is the air racket that is used, I believe, in a synthesis for a stronger racket. All right, dagger. Sorry. Alright. But anyway, um, the reason why I made this wallpaper, this, uh, not wallpaper, this webpage, um, I'm trying to get the Memento Mori thing itself spread around more. You know, make it more known and whatnot. If I'm able to get a, uh, sponsorship with a company, which is one of the things I'm hoping for, yes, I'm actually looking for money, shocker, <laughs> um, I will be able to create better quality videos. That's one of the reasons why I want... Um, a sponsorship for this. Also, for those people that are um, spouting out about Let's Players only are only in it for the money, you have to remember that it takes quite a bit. Actually, does take quite a bit of money to do these Let's Plays. I mean, <clears throat> I've already chipped in. <laughs> I know it's gonna sound weird, but about fifty bucks, but actually seventy-five, I think, for the dazzle. And let's not, let's not forget all the money for the games. It's a very expensive <laughs> process. So, for those people that are blasting the uh, Let's Player channels about how they're all only in it for the money, would you please stop it? <laughs> anyway, stuff in my PSA. <laughs> let's get back to what you guys are actually here for. This game. So Zidane's gonna kill this fucker with this hit. <laughs> it usually does about 9,999 damage. It did nowhere near that. <laughs> oh, Queena, of course. I've done Solution 9 in quite some time, so let's do that if it survives long enough. Yeah, I kind of figured that was going to happen. Oof. Not bad EXP and AP here. Not to mention the enemies aren't all that bad. So this, this actually is a pretty good place to level, as long as you have the lower level weapons. And then again, if you don't, you can always buy them from the Moogle outside. Ah, this is an interesting place. Come over here and examine this as soon as you get done with the battle. <laughs> oh god, no! No! 
Okay, um, these enemies may not seem like much. I mean, little green dudes in hoods. Ooh, creepy. These are called Toneberries. Toneberries are the bane of every Final Fantasy player's nightmares. <laughs> or bane of your existence. Um, <laughs> oh crap, the 46. Of course they are. They're not even a multiple of five. Okay, <clears throat> Tone Bears are really annoying. They have an ability called Every Everybody's Grudge. What it does is deals damage to you by giving... Uh, let's see. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. The first attack... Uh, the Tone Bears have two attacks. First one is Knife, where they walk up and shank you. You deal... It deals 9,999 damage, and then the Tone Bear disappears. It's really annoying. Really sucks. <laughs> Excuse me. And everybody's grudge. Everyone hates this. It does damage equal to 4 to the power of the amount of tone berries you have killed. So right now, it will deal 0 damage because I haven't killed any tone berries. However, if you want to get really good AP, because these guys drop 4 AP, 8 if you have the double, um, you have to kill a lot of them. Not to mention the main draw of a Tone Mary is the EXP, 13,297. These guys are monsters. Plus, they hit hard. Okay. Since I'm in the menu, I'll give you guys a quick rundown of their stats. <laughs> they have roughly 7,873 HP. Um, they take normal damage from every element and are immune to all status effects, so no shortcuts. Uh, you can steal High Potions, Phoenix Downs, Phoenix Pinions, and Ethers from these guys. They will sometimes drop a Paradox, Ether, and their own card. So let's go for Broke. Cherry Blossom. Do not ever use six dragons. It affects everything, and it could kill you. I'm gonna auto life everyone just until just in case um a tone bear gets too close. <laughs> tone bears will slowly walk across the battlefield until they reach you. <laughs> Afterwards they will shank you. Um they'll sometimes also move to the sides to go for the person that attacked them. Um everybody's grudge is a counterattack. So they'll probably use it right now. No oh, no. Moving towards Eco. And the Toneberry behind her bumped into him. <laughs> That's going to Z uh, Zidane who attacked him. <laughs> if you're quick enough, you can kill them before they do anything. I like this attack. <laughs> and of course it did Jack. Heh <laughs> Bumped into the other Tomberry. I'm gonna jump. <laughs> These guys freak me out <laughs> because of how deadly they are. But this should kill all three of them since they, it'll deal about um, equivalent to about 8,000 damage in total. Just to be cautious. <laughs> I might have to equip auto life to these guys if I'm gonna train here. Cause that 4 AP, that 8 AP in total, oh, that's one hell of a draw. Now, if memory serves, it might be different for this game, but in the previous games, everybody's grudge affects each of the character, or the only character that actually kills the creatures. So, equal, uh, Eco's damage would be 4 to the power of 3 now, everyone else will still be 0. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm not sure if that's the same in this game or not, so... Anyway, now we're done with that. Examine this. <laughs> the 
This actually has something uh, relatively important. Try something drastic. <sighs> if you can't solve it quickly, break it. <laughs> I think that's Zidane's motto. Like, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> ah, Zidane. <laughs> this brings up brings us up here. Later on, we'll be able to get. New hello. A beret? Anything over here? No. <laughs> um, there will be a stairwell there later, I believe. <laughs> Nothing you could do, um to get past this. He'll always be here before you. Alrighty then. <laughs> so let's examine this. Let's see here. Something written on it. Um, the power is protected high on top by fiery mountain. <laughs> Fire mirror. <laughs> the power is protected underwater, surrounded by the earth. Water mirror. I was protected behind a tornado. Wind. And the last one. <laughs> Power protected underneath the shaking ground. Earth mirror. <laughs> now this... <laughs> you'll see. Ignore Aquina. Alright, so this is Taharka. Taharka has 30k HP, you can steal an elixir, mithril claw, and a or a Kalkin, which you can buy later. Or you can buy at the um town that, that I mentioned in the last set. <coughs> he is pathetically weak. According to this guy. So let's just kill him. All the stuff that he has I don't really need, so it doesn't really bother me. Oh, now he's going to do a counter if I hit him. <laughs> Just so he doesn't get a timer build up. Damn. Wait for him to get uncompact. <laughs> Let 
But yeah, this boss is uh, laughably weak. He should give us good good AP though, I believe. Um, if, even if you want to, you can actually um, slow him to make it even easier. Yeah, he'll give us 11 AP, which is pretty good. And there's a chance of him giving us a Rama card. <laughs> oh. You fucked up, my friend. This is the first time Eco's gone into um, White Wizard mode, hasn't she? Or Trance. Um, as I said before, I believe, uh, she's basically like Vivi, just with white magic. So you can cast white magic twice. <laughs> the same effect to each um, spell takes up a slot. Laughably easy. Plus, uh, Eco's ornamental wings actually become functional. They actually flap. Finally learned initiative. Oof. Okay. <laughs> Death into a line. Alright, so... Hold on. I want to make sure of something. Can I go this way? No, I can't. Uh, there is a... Like I said, there's a hidden item here called the um, Aroma... Ancient Aroma. <laughs> that we need to get. I'm trying to make sure I get it before I leave. <laughs> it's hidden, so we have, I guess we'll come back here. I'm still looking for that veteran. I have a vague guess what it looks like, but I'm not 100% sure. 